Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Border Princess. And we're fighting back the orcs and we've gone a bit deeper into the Badlands than I thought we would. But so far we're doing good and we're gonna make a lot of money selling these settlements to the dwarves. But let's just get to killing these guys. So this is gonna be a very grindy fight. But I kind of like where they put us so I think we're gonna attack in here since we get three angles of attack. But I don't want to spread out our units too much because uh, I kind of want everything to be in range for our wizard. So yeah, I think this is good. So let's grab like uh, you guys. You're gonna go on this side. We're gonna bring you, you and let's bring one of those over there. Although the uh, pariahs are gonna go up front because they're gonna shoot while they engage. And I guess the rest is, well the other two. <laughs> I guess is just gonna go on this side and go up there. We're gonna try and shoot these guys. Uh, I guess we can just put them up here, move them up, and they're gonna try to shoot. You can be in group two because you're gonna go in the center, I think. Same with you, and uh, we're gonna just cast spells all over the place. You're gonna find something to do. And yeah, we'll just uh, put you up on the hill over here and you'll be fine. So, let's uh, see what we can do. You guys are gonna go and just attack over there. These guys are just gonna advance. We're gonna go up on the flank, kill that. And we can actually just send a cav over there, I think. And we're gonna find somewhere these guys can sit and shoot. And you're... You should be able to shoot just fine from here, but... We're gonna try to not block all of these guys so let's send you in over there you can actually just sit there and shoot whatever oh actually go in there stop these archers from shooting and uh, just explodify them yes <laughs> and you're gonna be fine you're gonna sit there and shoot and yeah Smack through them and move on to the archers and just sit there and fight while these guys come over. Um, did he have a... Yeah, let's try and shoot that tower with the cannons. You should be all right over there. And yeah, all of those are dying. So, hey, good shots. Um, just uh, start moving over there while you go and chase. You can go and fight those and you can start moving up there together with her. I think that's fine. Yeah, so if this guy just sits here and fights, we can just set the pariahs over there. And you are gonna put a dwellers right there. You're not doing very well. Let's uh, back you out of there. Let's uh, send up our handguns, I think. And uh, move these guys up. They can start shooting. And we got our cannons on those, so that is good. And yeah, just <laughs> get a shotgun blast. Ow. Come on, shoot him. Ah, oh, you bastards. Okay, that's alright. Send you in there. You guys are done, though. But yeah, we're, we're getting some good shots over there. And I think we got some good damage over there, but I didn't see it. So let's uh, awaken the woods. Ah, uh, some good stuff. Let's move you up. Let's send you in there. And you can actually go on that side. It should be alright. And stand over there. You should have a, an angle to shoot. The tower is down. Very good. So if you could shoot anything else right now, that would be great. Oh, actually, let's charge these in the rear. We should get some good shots into the orc boys, and we should break this formation. Let's get a shot before you... Get another shot! Come on! Ah, that's fine. Whatever. We should break those pretty fast. Can we get a another explosion from you? Yeah, we can. <laughs> it's so much damage! I love it! That is just great. Uh, let's bring these guys on... Over there. We can send you over there. Ooh, we are gonna need a big heal over there. 
I feel like you should be able to shoot something over there. Ooh, good, good cannon shots though, but maybe focus over there so we don't hit our own stuff. Uh, get a good heal over there, yeah. Get a, an explosion over there. That's good. And yeah, I mean, if you can just kill anything you get in contact with, we're good. Let's start shooting over there. You should be all, all be shooting. I mean, it's okay if these guys take a little bit of a beating. But let's uh, send in the cab. And <laughs> he missed. Very good. We're gonna try and get some mana back. But these guys are breaking. And if we could just... Uh, Start moving and start shooting everything that you chase, that would be excellent. Because you're gonna be able to kill most things that you get in contact with. Let's do another explosion. And I think these guys are done. Very good. We're raining fire over there. Let's get another heal. Because you're gonna need it. And can you seriously not shoot? Yeah, you can. What? What have you been doing then? You idiots. Well, they're gonna sit there and shoot. They've taken a lot of damage, but that's no, alright. They'll, uh... They'll, uh, make them pay. And you... I guess you can just go in and fight him. You're pretty okay in melee combat, actually. And we can probably... Send you to that side. Let's turn you up. Let's send you to fight that. We can f send you to fight the Lord. And uh, let's put you up on the bridge. Yeah, that's fine. Still taking lots of damage on this side. That's alright. Let's keep healing them. They just need they just need to hold. And uh, let's go and destroy that if we can. Explodify these orcs. Nice. And uh, that's just so much damage. I love it. Let's go and help out with that, because both of these can deal with this Lord no problem. Very good. Send you over there to fight. Ooh, you're taking lots of damage. Um, how about we pull you back a little bit? Let's take the help of these guys. Oh, we're taking damage from that. Can uh, can the tower reach, or not the tower? Can the cannons reach that? I wonder. But yeah, that's that's a lot of damage. But we killed their lord. We're breaking that down. We have broken through over here. Excellent. And let's just uh, pop a heal over there. We're gonna need some healing. Oh, and. Give me another explosion. Nice. So let's let's uh, bring him through. Come on. And yeah, you're you're fine. And they're gonna be able to sit back and shoot a little bit more, but they have been they have been doing great. 250 kills. That is nothing to scoff at. Oh, and I mean, if they if they want to sit there and fight in front of the barricade, then be my guest. But yeah, this was never gonna be casualty free, so things are going all right. Oh shit, our cab! We sent our cab forward. Oh, is that our Milosis though? Yes, excellent. We're oh, whoops! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so we took a little bit of damage, but we're fine. <laughs> I forgot to put on the steel st the steel standard. Just gotta put it on these guys, but damn, they did great. And the, the cab actually did really good as well. But overall, good fight. Lots of experience, and we're gonna grab that replenishment and money, because uh, I don't care about this. Iron Rock is gonna get sold. Oh, but we can get some bellmen if we want. Some halberds or crossbowmen if we want. Although, we'll have to repair it and stay in recruit. And all stuff like that, so... Oh! We got our Scarves of the Crusader as well! Which, uh... Okay, it's casual replenishment for this Lord. In the Lord, okay. 
I was first like thirty <laughs> percent for the entire army, but no, it's just for the Lord. Womp womp. But it gives them some uh, relations with Bretonia, some leadership, uh, Strider, and uh, oh, that's uh, that's just a really good, uh, a really good regeneration. Nice. So you still have a settlement, yeah? So uh, yes. I don't think we need to like move out to get our replenishment because I don't think they're gonna come and siege. They're not that def desperate. Yes, but let's uh, keep getting this. Just make faster units, which Ooh. seems really good. Grab Arkin Conduit, which is really good. And uh, what's better? This is slightly better. So we're just gonna finish this and then start getting out the stuff. Because I would like for him to be, like, really deadly at range. But he's gonna get some combat stats as well. I don't mean Misery Sisters isn't bad, but... We're gonna go Faith's Bastion, which... Uh, would save in an area, but it doesn't say the size of the area. But that's just gonna be good. Damage resistance in an area is excellent. I would like to give you some weapon strength, and... Uh, I think I'm gonna. Yeah. More damage. So, let's... Uh, could get some rangers, just because they're fun. Border rangers are... Just kind of human versions of them. They're really similar. Like, just... Just about decent in combat. And uh, the same amount, amount of damage-ish. A couple of fewer... Models in the Rangers, though. So, yeah, let's uh, grab a militia archer and a half pike. I think that's good. And then I think we're gonna go and take stone, stone mine tower next turn, and just start meeting up. Although I don't think we're gonna push too much on to Wurzag since uh, he is still having a wa. Oh, well, we can do this again if we want a wizard. But I don't think we're going to do that right now. And Xiao Ming wants trade. But he doesn't even have anything to trade. Oh, although... Um, actually, yeah. Uh, let's just... Uh, just give me as much money as you can and we're good. Because I was mostly careful with uh, who to trade with. Because I didn't want Karasa Karak to think we had too many trading partners. But since we're trading with them now, we can kind of just trade with whoever. So, who else wants to trade? Ooh, Karakadrin. And, ooh, they want military access and non-aggression pact as well. Which, uh, yeah, I want that. Although, <laughs> you only have Dwarven Ale, but you can never have too much Dwarven Ale, can you? So, we're just gonna grab some money and all of the agreements. Very nice. And you don't want to trade anymore. I'm guessing because, uh, yeah, too many trade partners. That's fine. Uh, does anyone want... Well, Zufbar wants... Uh, Zufbar wants everything. And he's gonna pay for it. Sounds good. And Estalia wants some non-aggression pacts. <laughs> they don't want to pay that much for it, but... That's alright. 94 gold is fine. How much for you to get us a non-aggression pact? Why are you so mad? Still because the military actions against ourselves, and of course trespassing against ourselves. And, oh, right! I forgot that trespass warnings uh, made them mad. But, that's alright. We're still going green. And, uh, I mean, you're gonna be friendly with us eventually, whether you like it or not. So, you better be get ready for it. But, other than that, I don't think there's anything else. Oh! Well, it looks like they're just gonna go and take Stone Mine Tower. So, I guess we don't need to move you over but we're gonna cross you over and uh, do you still have uh, have that quest yeah so we're just gonna we're gonna grab that quest just in case we can just just get a hold of this guy especially since if he loses uh, if he loses this he's kind of has to go and take something Oh, but uh, we should probably sell these now and I don't know why I double click that's not how you do it but uh, you, you probably want the Forest of Gloom. Because I think it's gonna just rebel soon and I don't want to forget about it. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's gonna rebel real soon. 
So we'll give you Forest of Gloom if you give us almost 5,000. I'm good with it. It's not as much as you can get for some things. Oh. How are you doing with Scarsnake? It's got a full stack. And starting to build some others. Okay. They are pushing you back, it seems. But you should just send both of these up and you'll be fine. Just go and kill them. But let's get rid of Barag the Wazbag as well. Since uh, we can definitely get an alliance with you if we just sell you Barag the Wazbag. Yeah. Give us a defensive alliance. Give us not a lot of money, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, we already have military presence or military accents. So that's good. And I guess you leveled as well. So let's uh, finish that off. And should we sell this right away? I mean, we don't really get anything from it, so we should at least see if we can get a decent amount of money or <laughs> unless we just got all of their money. So what would you pay for iron? Okay, they don't have any money left. So what we can do is uh, let's just repair the... Yeah, repair it. We can demolish that though and uh, don't repair that but if we can repair this at least we get a good uh, a good garrison and that's gonna be fine oh we can move more no oh that's uh, that's the mar march range never mind uh, Matorka should get some more garrison though just in case but it's starting to feel safer actually what do we got in there it's actually kind of safe, and it is a defensive uh, settlement battle. So I think two is fine for now and just save the money. Although we can probably build something over here. So upgrade that, get that special building. Let's get more growth. And we're getting a lot of money in here now. This is the good stuff. Nice. But it might... Actually, I'm gonna keep that around for now. Okay, yeah, he is close by. They did take this, so do you have anything left? No, so you're not going to be able to run around a bunch. At least not without dying eventually. And we can reach that with one movement range to spare. So, excellent. That's going to give us some extra uh, allegiance. We're going to pop that on you, and that is not a resolve though. And none of those do really anything, so let's just lower our upkeep by 5% for 3 turns. It's gonna save us a little bit of money. Nice! So, let's, uh, let's just start getting over there. You can go and start meeting over there. And ooh, that is a rough army. Okay, so I guess be a little bit careful in this piece of the water because that is I don't want to fight that right now uh, let's grab regrowth it's just a really good spell oh actually I want scouting let's grab scouting regrowth is really good but uh, I mean earth blood and uh, the uh, dwellers from below is more than enough than what we need right now and I want to build that in Barak Var if we can because that's gonna be where you're gonna be able to defend and did we no we didn't upgrade that so let's upgrade that that's a little bit of money but i'm okay with it and they are really tempting us with worsag here they got some juicy stuff here and we can't actually reach them though so let's not Let's just uh, march over there. We're gonna get going. We, otherwise, we'll be just uh, we're just gonna stay here for the rest of the game. I wanna go and kill some some uh, tomb kings, and we are gonna first of all give both of those over. Probably that one too. Grab all of you, and probably grab most of you because we're gonna get a lot of range stuff with that. Let's grab two of those, and I think that's good. 
Like, this is gonna be most of our front line. Hello? Is that too many? Too many archers to get rid of? Maybe. But we are gonna still have like eight units in the front line. Uh, nine. Okay, never mind. Let's go like that. I think it's okay to have one one unit down because we're gonna grab an organ gun. But yeah. I think that's good. We still have a little bit of backline. These guys are kinda backlines. Or do we just go full on ranged? Nah, let's go like this. We can always get more ranged units if we need to. And I think this is good. So? And this is still a pretty decent army. And I didn't want to go overboard on the enforcers as well. Since we have a lot of other stuff to have. But I think that's a good army. Let's upgrade that to tier 4. We're growing fast here. And we can't do anything here though. But that's alright. Let's... Uh, Okay, no one can reach this from what I can see. So let's uh, let's leave these guys to recover some money if for a little bit longer. Try to sell it next turn, maybe. And I think Wurzak just uh, sacked this. Yeah. That's alright. Wait, was this gonna rebel this turn? Yeah, it is. Okay, we need to sell this now. So, highest bidder. How much will you give us for Iron Rock? You will give us uh, 3.8. Not bad. Not bad at all. How about you? Iron Rock? Let's not accidentally give them a Torka. Because that's uh, it's gonna be a problem. And you will give us uh, 2.1. Okay. Then it goes to Karasakarak. Iron Rock? And let's make sure Iron Rock and Iron Rock don't want to give them the wrong thing. And give me 3.8. Thank you. And you still keep the watch room. Good. So you're going to be able to defend that very nicely. And you're just, you're just going to start moving. It's going to book it down here. And it doesn't really matter if we go through the water or not, so let's go to Myrmidons, because I don't want to fight these. That doom stack of dwarves. But, um, let's uh, stand around, try to ambush Wurzag, I think. Because if we can get the help of uh, some garrison here and get an ambush, that would be great. We don't have a very good army here, though, but it's gonna be good enough. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, Clan Morris attacks uh, Karl Sakurak. That's fine. And we got some extra money from just caravans. God, I love the caravans. They just bring us free money sometimes. It's great. Where's like is still hanging around. Oh, but they got a... We got a friendly army over here. Oh, let's uh, move normally. Oh, really? Okay, let's go and stand over there. I don't think they can reach us. No, okay, let's stand over there because they... Yeah, they can't reach us here. And we get to reinforce if they attack Doc Karaz. And yeah, we're cornering Versag right now. And it seems like he lost his Wa. Which is very good. Will you stop trespassing, you dick? Well, we can almost get another aggression pact. Do we want to buy one for 962? It is gonna keep improving, so let's not. And Crooked Moons? Wah failed! That's good. Yeah, they're still holding. Very good. Because I want to keep an eye on this because I really want uh, Thorgrim to be strong in this game. Since, whoa! A lot of stuff here, but they're at war with each other, so they might just take each other out, which would be great. Because, uh, I mean, Iron Rock is pretty stable, and they've got a lot of stuff in the area. So I'm just gonna, like, sit around, try to ambush people. I don't think they're even in range here, although maybe they can march over there. 
But I don't want to get too close. Because uh, I don't want to lose that guy. But let's start uh, just booking it down to Ark and the Black. It's going to take a while. But uh, actually we sail pretty far. Hopefully you haven't... You haven't gone and taken his stuff, right? Oh, can we not talk to you? Oh, okay. Alright then. Let's, uh... Oh, let's get this now. Because that's just really good. Let's... Okay, let's, let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade that. And, uh... Yeah, this is... This got... Tra actually, let's upgrade that. Nice. And Talia wants an aggression pact. I am all for it. Give me more money. Did you give me less money? Didn't you just offer me 400? Okay, whatever. Just give me what you can. And hey, more lead. Oh, not leadership. Well, actually, <laughs> we do get leadership as well. But more movement. So that's going to make it a little bit faster to get over here. Still haven't discovered those. Not that I'm going to be fighting them necessarily, but I want to see if they just have three settlements or if Arkan is getting his ass kicked. Although, usually Arkan is do pretty well, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, there's Wurzag. Let's uh, just stand back there, I think. Although you don't have a very strong... Ooh, that's not maybe not the best. Let's back away. He's just a defensive army, let's not go too offensive with him. But, we can get some casual replenishment, income from raiding and stuff. Don't really have that much heavy cav. Diplo rep with all factions is actually really good. I don't know what shield bearers are, so we're not gonna do that. Don't know what constitutes as heavy armor units, but I don't think I have too many of them. Ooh, speed for all units. I do like that. I like my speedy units. But... What's Carlson mil Militia? I have no idea what that is. Oh, leadership per experience rank is actually really good too. But I think I want the control or casualty replenishment. Let's go with casualty replenishment. Can never go wrong with casualty replenishment. Because we are doing pretty well on control right now. So that's good. And uh, I think we can switch this one to growth instead as well. Just get that thing growing. I think that's good. Good, 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 good. And Karak Hearn is destroyed. Well, that's not great. We were friendly with those. We're taken over by the Empire? Oh, the Golden Order is doing amazing! The Vampires is almost dead. Oh, this is an Order Tide, an order tide game. <laughs> like, this is all... All Order Tide. And uh, I think Thorgrim should be able to take that. Just... Stop that. Let's go and... Go and take Skarsnik out. That's just gonna be good. Yeah, and Wurzag is moving out. I think you can take that, right? Probably. Especially with a lot of help. Yeah, this is... This is going well. Everyone is feeling good. And we're making so much money. I think we're just gonna... Let's uh, move back home, actually. And uh, we're gonna just recruit some better units. Because... I was a little bit cheap. And I figured it's just gonna be defensive, but since the dwarves are doing so well, I think it's time that maybe we uh, get some better stuff. And okay, I think I think they've taken out Ark in the Black. We're gonna have to find some some tomb prince to kill though. But yeah, we're uh, they're all doing really well. Oh! Whoa! Okay. We got some really angry Norskans attacking us. But... I feel like low casualties is... Uh, 
I mean, very acceptable, but um, I'm definitely gonna fight this, though. Because this looks like a fun one. But, yeah, I don't trust this. <laughs> okay, so we got a very flat map, so I guess it doesn't matter where we set up, really. Because uh, there's no high grounds or obstructions, really. So I guess we're just gonna set up our cannon. We are gonna set up our front line. And actually, are you... They do shoot in 360 degrees. Perfect. Okay. You're just gonna go up front and start skirmishing, though. I was gonna put them in, like, a secondary line, but... Uh, no, they're just gonna go around and shoot things. Like crazy people. But we're gonna put a unit of handgunners right there. We're gonna put the pariahs over there. And they're just gonna sit and shoot. You can be group one. You can be group three. And uh, we're just gonna put our archers, like, over there. Let's move this back a little bit. And the cab can hang out in the back. Try to not... Uh, try to not let anyone through. Because uh, we don't have the biggest front line right now. Although these guys are gonna go into the front line, so... It's gonna be fine. We got some skirmish cab. And all of our characters. We can just pop everything there. So for you, you're gonna hang out back there. Good. And... I guess you can ride around and shoot stuff too. And we should probably group these as well with all kinds of numbers. But that is fine. And, uh, damn hiccups. Move you up, move you up. And, uh, let's start shooting some stuff. Let's, uh, stay away from those though. And they're sending skin wolves at us. Oh, but the cannons are shooting. Very good. Let's start shooting at that guy. I would like to shoot the berserkers, though. And, uh, yeah, let's... Let's go and shoot over there. Pull you away a little bit. And, uh... Start getting pistol shots in this guy. Okay. Pull away, pull away, pull away. Oh, pull away, pull away, pull away. Ow. Oh, ow. <laughs> Shit, that's... That hurts, but doing a lot of damage to this guy at least, so that's good. Okay, get out of there. You're on a horse. You can flee just fine, and we are doing amazing damage here. Oh, but we got some skin wolves coming in. But I think we can just shoot them down on the, on the approach. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. But we are having a little bit of problem with these guys being incredibly fast. But he's he is gonna get out of there. Let's uh, get ourselves a heal over there. No, oh, damn it, we missed them. Okay. Well, the skin wolves are running, and this guy is running. So let's just spread out a little bit, get some shots out while we can. Oh, that's no good. Pull you out. It's all right, though. We're gonna open this up. Very good. Let's uh, send you in on this guy. Where? Oh, right. You lost your... Uh, you lost your uh, healing potion when... Uh, when you got your quest item. Or not quest item, but your unique item. But yeah, you're gonna die. Very good. And we're gonna shoot this guy to death. Very good. Can probably... Oh, get some shooting over there. That's gonna be good. Let's shoot into those. That's gonna die. And uh, let's uh, send you behind. Let's send you up on the side. And you can just sit there and shoot or fight, honestly. We'll move these guys around. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, they are being slaughtered by the pariahs, especially since they got caught on our pikemen. Beautiful. Excellent. Let's uh, send you in, in the back over there. Start shooting those guys. And yeah, you're shooting stuff just fine. Let's get a heal over there. Oh, let's get a dwellers right there. Let's get some shooting in there, actually. We need to break those guys. But we'll uh, put up these guys in the rear. And they're just gonna pepper these guys. You're gonna be fine. Let's send you up. 
Oh, shoot those guys if you can. Break those off. Very nice. Yeah, this. These guys are great. I love them. Let's turn you around. Keep on top of those. Actually, pull away. You can shoot him. Stay behind and just shoot. And yeah, this is... They're all dead. Very nice. Oh, you came back. That's good. And I'm just gonna make sure that we don't have to fight this again. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We took a lot of losses on our dwarf warriors, but that seems to be a trend for us. And this guy took a lot of damage, but I think we're just gonna give him... Uh, give him the health potion so we can heal up next battle at least and then we'll see where we put it but we need to put the health potion somewhere and we're gonna grab the replenishment here though but I don't think we have to worry about this guy anymore I mean he's still here though but that's all right Ooh, Birdman of Katraza and cursed company galloper gun we got a lot of stuff coming in. To the provinces. And uh, I'm not gonna bother. I just I just wanna see if there's Oh god. Okay, there is still And they're gonna go and take that. Is this your last settlement? It is. And they're gonna go and take that from me. Bastards. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to go like in here to find uh, some uh, some uh, Tomb Kings then, which is a problem, but oh well, we'll, uh, we'll find some, I'm, I'm gonna finish that quest. So let's keep getting uh, scouting, you're gonna finish off Blacker Powder, oh and you can pick one of these. So fighting a Dark Elf Beastman, Norsk and Skaven, meh, just melee defense, it's pretty alright. Beast Slayer for anti or for more anti large. Wouldn't be bad. Flaming attacks, uh, meh. And unit experience gained by tur uh, per turn. All units in army. I think uh, we might just grab. Uh, I mean, you all you're already very tanky. Let's grab some bonus versus large. I think. Or how much bump strength does that do? Eighteen. Let's just go bonus versus large. And keep getting fervor. And you're gonna go and recruit a little bit. I mean, I guess we can give you some of these. Like, just grab some decent things for you. Yeah, we got a lot of money and a lot of income. So, some crossbowmen, some pikemen, we can probably get rid of like some of this. Get something more interesting. Do we want the organ gun or this on the other on, on the other army? What is this? Some flying ranged attacking? Sounds really cool. Let's grab one of those. I grab that. The organ gun is going to the other guy. And that's really good against orcs. Yeah, let's let's just go with, like this. We're gonna make him pretty good. And I also want a couple of swashbucklers because they're just amazing. So let's get rid of uh, that, I think. No, wait. Um, let's get rid of that, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's grab two of these and you're just gonna chill for a, for a little bit, see what happens over here. And then we're just gonna move out. So I just wanna see what happens here, if we can go and take that. Cause I just, I think we can just sit and sack that. Cause occupy, loot, sack or raise three settlements belong. Is that three different? I don't know. But at least give me Sorcerer's Islands. That would be so good for us. God damn it. Okay. So, followers of Magash got destroyed the second we got here. And they even took out the 
dwarves. They usually never do this well for me. What is happening with the Order Tide? God dang it. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're just sailing in here. Going into the, the cracked lands and the Great Mortis, Land of the Dead. Because there's gotta be some Tomb Kings in over here. So I guess we're just uh, keep moving. But I'm gonna have to end this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, we're gonna find some Tomb Kings. See you next time. Bye-bye.